Hey, welcome back to Milton Daily Homes. Chuck here, and so we got a small list. Actually, it's one of the smallest lists coming off the weekend that we've seen in a long time. Uh, again, pretty normal for this time in, in August. And a lot of people say to me, when's a good time to buy? The thing about August is that prices can sometimes slide down a little bit. The buyers can take a vacation, both of which is good for any other buyers who are in the market. The problem is you don't always get the same selection as, as other times of the year. But what I always say is that you're only looking for one house that matches what you're looking for. So if it comes out now, sometimes you can get a bit of a better deal on it. Um, let's start today's list with the first one. It's at 878 Brussard, 369 is the price. It's uh, a sumac or an Oak Grove corner. Uh, you've got a balcony. It's really, there's only a side yard on this one. And so when you come inside, uh, that's basically the first floor closet and then you come up the stairs and hardwood stairs, hardwood floors. I assume that's what they're trying to show. I'm not overly impressed by the photos. Um, I'm not sure if that's a gas stove or if it's, uh, or if it's pretty much standard electric. And then you've got a family room here. It doesn't really show the family room. It doesn't show the main floor. There's a little main floor den, which comes in really, really handy. No shots of that. So. It talks about views, unobstru uh, unobstructed escarpment, green belt views. I don't know why that stuff's not in the photos. If you look at where it is on Broussard, it doesn't show it really in Google Maps, but there's a little property right here that, that faces Bronte, one of the old, uh, more of a rural residential kind of home. And there's a small patch here of green belt. And then um, I'll, I'll show you on the zoning maps. It's probably a little bit better. So where we're looking, so this is Broussard Circle right here. So on the other side is residential medium density. So I have a feeling that probably means two-story homes across the street. So if it is on the north side of this interior part of Broussard, there's a good chance that it's going to face developed homes at some point. There's your future development. Now, I don't think there's going to be a condo there, but I think you'd want to know at least what the plan is for, for that particular property. And then you've got Greenbelt, and then right across from there, you've got more future developments. And so the, the you just want to be careful of what's going on around here. It's nice and close to the open space here, which is the, uh, the, the rural park, which is coming out. Um, so that's all good stuff, but you just want to be really careful with the things uh, surrounding this home so that you're not going to have anything that as adversely affects you. Uh, the second one up is Clark. It's a 1500 square foot home. It's called the Lindbrook model. Clark can be a little bit busier. So there are people that say, I want to avoid streets like that. Uh, the flooring looks good. It's a very open floor plan. And, uh, and the bedrooms upstairs are what I like is that they're all teenager size. There's, there's no, Sometimes what you see is you'll see in a home, you'll see the master's really big and then you've got a pretty good size room and they have a tiny one. So this one here, the master's not massive, but it's a nice square size room. And then you've got two other rooms that I consider to be pretty favorable size. Uh, it doesn't show any of the measurements here, but just knowing the model itself, it's uh, it does a good job. So Lesage is the next one up, uh, 699, 980. Probably did that to sneak under the 699,990 guys, I suppose. But anyways, it's uh, it's over 3,000 square feet, it's five bedrooms. Every bedroom is connected to its own bathroom. Dark hardwood floors, so it's got some good upgrades in here. It drives me crazy when these cabinets don't go up higher. I think in a home at 3,000 square feet, I don't know why the builders or if it was an upgrade. I wasn't sure. I never was was a part of the, the upgrading process. I believe this is a Green Park home. But why those cabinets don't go up higher, it just, to me, and I understand why, because when you buy, like from a floor plan, it's a two-dimensional object. There's no height. It's not like you're looking at a Lego model or anything like that. So it can be hard to think of that kind of upgrade. Um, granite countertops, stainless steel, all the rest of it. So they put in smart upgrades. I think this one looks uh, certainly move-in ready. There's an example of the Jack and Jill bathroom between the two bedrooms and standard size lot here too. Lesage is a pretty quiet street, although you are getting close to the train tracks in the sense that you're on the east side of Scott. Uh, for this size of home though, 699 definitely seems like it's, uh, it's in w within fair range. 
Chambers Place is 799 dollars 3,300 square feet plus a finished basement. Uh, not sure if that driveway has been sort of photoshopped or if it is actually that black. Uh, nice finishes inside, very, very nice. The waffle ceilings in a couple rooms, you've got your wainscoting. So obviously whoever's in here uh, appreciates woodwork for sure. You just don't see that as a standard practice in most homes. I really like the look of that kind of ceiling, especially if it's a high enough ceiling, like if it's a nine foot ceiling, it, you know, it can, it looks really, really nice. Uh, different colored flooring on the second level. So I'm not sure if that, and then again, different colored flooring in the basement, but you're talking about probably close to 5,000 square feet of finished space. And it's on a 56 by 80 foot lot, which is pretty much standard for uh, par for course kind of thing. A um, lot of size. I think that where the value comes in here is that is someone going to need the finished basement on top of the 3,300 square feet and, and be willing to pay the value for it. But I think that the first two floors have a lot of things that are unique to this home that you just don't see very often. But I often wonder with the effects of some of the woodwork and things like that, if it makes more sense to do it yourself versus paying the premium for it. But I, I do think that it's uh, this one would show very well. And we've got one more on the Oakville Milton board. And so it's a plan six, which is one of my favorite floor plans. And so built by Mattamy, 2,300 square feet. It's funny because you read the description, it said it boasts 23. Well, homes don't actually boast, first of all. So the home itself, there's no hardwood. There's a little office just off the main hallway before you get into the living space. So there's your office, then you come in, then you've got your dining room plus a family room that it opens to. Uh, you don't really see the full shebang in, in any of the photos so far. There's the, uh, the kitchen, it's the more basic design in there. And they've got some color on the walls, which is nice. This is the second floor family room. And then you also have four bedrooms plus a laundry. Although if you read the description, it says that the floor plan has been customized for bigger bedrooms. It is possible that what they did was they took the laundry and crossed it off the floor plan, made the two rooms bigger by the master bedroom, and then moved the laundry downstairs. So that could be something that if you like second floor laundry, usually this model has it, but it's possible that they don't. Um, so there you go. I think that uh, the model's terrific. A little bit more upgrading would really set this one on another direction. And the fact that you've got some green space beside uh, is a very positive thing. And later this week, if I have a chance, what I'm going to do is I'm going to share with you some information about being close to green space. And there's been studies done and people actually prefer a smaller lot abutting green space than to have a bigger lot. It's actually been proven through uh, through surveying and studying, which I thought was really fascinating. So a friend of the show, Colin Best, actually dropped that off. And we're going to talk more about it as we, uh, as we progress through the week. So buyer class on Saturday, if you want to come, just go to MiltonBuyerClass.com. And we'd love to have you there. It's going to be at the brand new office here. And it's a great little space to, uh, to learn. Okay, so have a great day and we'll see you tomorrow.